Hey guys, it's Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about my September favorites. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. I post tons of fashion, beauty, and lifestyle content. So definitely subscribe and hit that notification bell. All right, let's get into it. Every single item that I mentioned today will be linked down below in the bottom bar in case you are interested in it. I am filming this a little bit early because... One, when you're watching this, I am on my honeymoon, but two, I did not film an August favorites last month, which is insane. I was slightly preoccupied and yeah, I just never posted a favorites video for the first time in who knows how long. And so this is kind of a August through the first two thirds of September. And then I will include anything from the last part of September in my October favorites. So I have lots of random goodies for you guys, but per usual, I always like to start out with any of the new With Love Sarah arrivals, and I've got some good ones this month. So I'm gonna talk about my necklaces first. I have this cutie patootie. This necklace is adjustable. It's on like a middle setting, so it could be even more of a choker or a little bit lower than this next one. So kind of to give you an idea of the range of it, this is actually replacing the disc necklace because I can no longer get that chain. So this is the new disc necklace, which I love it. I think it's so dainty and just adorable. I think it's the perfect layering piece for any stack of necklaces that you want to wear. And then the next necklace is this one, which is a two chain layered necklace and this is a very plain necklace, but I love that because again, it just goes with anything you want to wear. So absolutely love this one. Again, this is also adjustable, so you can make it shorter if you want. I believe I have it on the longest setting right now because I did have the shorter one and then I had my crescent necklace on with it as well. So I wanted this one to hang kind of in the middle. So it could be a little bit shorter than it currently is and you could wear um, a medallion or crescent necklace or anything like that with this one. I absolutely love these two necklaces and then I'm so excited because the North Star necklace was restocked. I sold out of this pretty quickly and it's finally restocked. So this is such a good layering piece as well. I think this would look so cute with the disc necklace. So very, very excited to have this one back. You guys were so excited about this one when I launched it. I don't know what it is about the North Star, but you guys seem to love it. And so I sold out of them pretty quickly and I ran out. So they're officially back. And then last but not least are these Huggies. I have them in my second hole right now, but these I have in both gold and silver. And then I have the version with the crystals and also a plain version without the crystals. So it's kind of something for everyone. So excited about them. I think that these are so adorable and I could not wait to put them onto the site. All right, let's talk about a couple of beauty items. First is this from Laura Mercier. This is the Velour Extreme Matte Lipstick in the shade Vibe. It's what I have on my lips today. I actually wore this color on my wedding day. I have had this for a long time and I've worn it here and there, but I feel like I'm like full in on it right now. I don't know why I'm really liking a more pink lip. I normally go much more nude than this, but I am just, I'm here for it right now. So I've been loving this and then on top of it, I have this, it's from Fresh. It's a sugar lip treatment in the shade Bloom. And this is another like pinky shade. And this combo has just been like giving me life lately. Absolutely love it. Um, I wore this exact combo with a lip liner for my wedding, but I have been wearing it ever since. It's so comfortable and it just gives you like an effortless pinky look, but it's like a your lips but better kind of a look. So I think it's perfect for every day. I really like that it looks good right now while I'm still a little bit tan, but I'm like quickly losing any tan I had. So I think that it's still gonna look good when my skin is a little bit more fair. Next is this foundation from NARS. This is the Soft Matte Complete Foundation. I have it in the shade Santa Fe. This is so good. I did an entire video on it doing a wear test. If you're interested in that, I will link it in the cards for you. But that's what I have on my skin today. I love it. It's a full coverage and it is matte, but don't be scared of the word matte because I pretty much hate all matte foundations I've ever tried. But for some reason, this one, it wears so comfortably and I still get a little bit dewy. Like I'm not perfectly matte right now. I'm not wearing any dewy type products, but I'm still not fully matte because it's just... It's a soft matte, <laughs> but I just think it gives you a nice natural finish. And every single time I've worn this, I've gotten so many compliments on my skin. So I just absolutely love it. One coat will get you a nice full coverage 
and it is beautiful and it wears amazingly all day this is an oldie but a goodie these are from cover fx they are the custom cover drops and i had these years ago and i hadn't repurchased them in a while but i saw that they were 50 percent off at sephora i don't know if they were discontinuing the line or what but i got them in the shades and the light two and n medium two and i just these are good for so many different reasons. What I did is for the foundation, it was a little bit too light. So I put a little bit of the darker shade, just a couple drops into the foundation to make it a little bit deeper. Um, but these, you can do that. You can give a foundation more coverage if you want more coverage. They're basically just pure pigment. So you could put them into a tinted moisturizer to give it more coverage or even into just a regular moisturizer to give it a little bit of coverage and kind of turn it into a tinted moisturizer there's so many options and i just really like these and i feel like no one ever talks about them anymore so i had to give them a little bit of love today then i have this from sephora this is the pro liner 22 angled liner brush i love this so much i had been avoiding buying a new liner brush and now i regret not buying it sooner because it is so skinny so precise it's just the most amazing liner brush. I used this today as well. I used it with my uh, Laura Mercier Cake Tight Liner or Tight Liner Cake. I don't know. Whatever that eyeliner is, I will link the eyeliner below as well if you guys want to check it out. It is like my holy grail eyeliner and I used that on my wedding day as well. I'm mentioning all these things because I just filmed a chatty get ready with me doing this look, which is the makeup I did on my wedding day for the most part. And I used this liner and that eyeliner so that is why i keep mentioning my wedding um but this liner brush is so good i feel like i can get like the precise line that i want it doesn't get out of control there's no bristles that are like going all crazy and it's stiff but flexible which is an oxymoron but it's like stiff enough that the bristles aren't just going everywhere but it's flexible enough to be able to give you that like flick and to kind of like contour to your eye. So I love this so much. I want to try more brushes from this line because this I think is the first one that I've tried. And now I have a very, very, very random favorite from Amazon. It is this, it looks kind of like a seat belt, but this is such a good travel essential. Uh, so basically what this does is you stick this part in the door where the latch goes in, wow words uh, and it has this little metal piece so you stick it in there and then when you shut the door the latch goes in there and then you tighten this I mean that's tightened all the way but you tighten it to sit against the door so then it sits right against the door and if somebody tries to open the door they can't open it so even if they unlock the deadbolt they still can't get into the door because this metal piece is sitting in the door frame so just something that if you are traveling, we are staying in a condo that we're renting for our honeymoon next week. And so I just feel like you can never be too safe. I have no idea. Like the owners obviously have keys to the place. I'm sure their management has keys to the place that even if you are locking the door, you still sometimes in hotel rooms, you'll have those metal locks that you can lock from the inside. But if you're staying in somebody's personal condo, you obviously don't have that. So this is just kind of an extra layer of security. I think Adam thinks I'm crazy, but I would rather be safe than sorry. I think I just watch and know too many things that happen in the world. I also think that would be so good if you were traveling by yourself, which I know traveling is not really happening a lot right now. But uh, there's been plenty of times that I've stayed in hotels by myself and just been like slightly creeped out. So this is definitely a good thing just to give you a little bit more peace of mind. Next are these sunglasses. I have been wearing these so much recently. I love the more rectangular squarish frame and they are a faded lens. I just think that they're so cute. Um, they're really affordable. I mean, they're like $65, but compared to normal, like more designer sunglasses, they're definitely more affordable. They are more expensive than a Target pair, but I love these. They're really good quality and I just, I can't get enough of them. So I figured I would mention these if you're in the market for a new pair of sunglasses. Um, this brand is one of my favorites. I have a bunch of pairs from there and they just... They're great quality for the price and I feel like if I'm on vacation or I'm on the lake or 
basically anything that I'm doing on a weekend, I don't want to be wearing expensive sunglasses. I've jumped into the lake with designer sunglasses on one too many times. And so now I just really love ones like this that yes, I would be sad if I lost them or the bottom of the lake stole them, but I'm not going to be heartbroken over it. You guys know that I love the Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder and they launched the honey shade, I think in July question mark time is just flying and I cannot, there's like no, I've realized that normally I kind of like base time based on things that are happening in life, but nothing is really happening. So I have no sense of like when things happened anymore. So this came out at some point this summer and it's in the honey shade. I did a full side by side comparison, one side of my face using the original, the other side using the honey shade. I will link that video in the cards as well if you're interested in it but I cannot stop using this. Um, I actually don't have it on today because I used a different powder on my wedding day, but I have used it basically every other day except today. So really, really good. I don't know if this was limited edition or not, but this is from Benefit. It is the Cheek Leaders Mini Bronze Squad Palette. And I've been using this a ton recently. I had a little uh, travel version of the Hoola bronzer and then I ran out of it. And so ever since then, I have been grabbing this palette almost every day. I like to do a little bit of contouring with this and then go in with a different bronzer to like warm up the rest of my face. But the Hoola bronzer is outstanding. You guys know that I love it. I've loved it for years. And then the Cookie Highlight and Gold Rush um, blush are both outstanding as well. This is a really good travel palette for me. Um, I think all three colors work really well with my skin tone, which is always a feat when you're getting a face palette. I think it's going to be a little bit hard to see the blush and bronzer, but they do apply beautifully onto the skin and they do build up when you add product. Alrighty guys, those are all of my favorites for September. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys. Thank <laughs> you.